my life. Right now, we're live. Yo, first episode getting interrupted. (laughs) (laughs) She's drinking wine right now. Ooh, I could go for a glass of wine. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we all can go for a glass of wine. Oh, right glass of oh, some wine and some pizza, bro. I will kill that. <laughs> Here's your earphones. I had pizza earlier. Oh yeah. Ooh. They, they gave us like three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Jay was gonna use these. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> you want to switch up? Yeah, that's all good. You sure? Okay, we can switch them up. It's all good. Dude, I know you probably have. So, I, I would think the same thing too. Uh, like, mm. salmon, it's all good. yeah. Soup, Wait. Salad, everything. Hold on. There you go. Oh, you have to move. Feel good now? Yeah. That sounds good. Everybody, uh, we're recording already, so. Oh, you already started? Yeah. Just, right. no, if you're trying to tie up, tie up right here. Are you going to edit this out? No. <laughs> this is podcast. We're po- this is what podcast right. is. You don't right, edit let me, shit out. Let me call you back because we're about All to. Right, All right. So, yeah. So, uh, on the side, like, if you want to move it, just uh, tie that side up. Oh, this yeah. Side. No, it's all good. No, the other way. Yeah, the other way, and then tying up. Yeah, so, yep. This is uh, Real Logic TV first podcast. Uh, first podcast, man. We got our boy Ryan po- uh, co-producing today. You know, Ryan. Ryan what do you like to go as, man? Um. Yeah, we need like. I mean, Ryan is Ryan, but like, well, that's Insta- his Instagram name. But like, <laughs> he needs like Ryan, like, not Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. The shotgun or something. You nah. got King Ryan. <laughs> some white. That's some white shit right there. Call me KR. King Ryan. King, King Ryan. Nah, King Ryan, really, dude? That's or so played out. That's like back then in high school, like in middle school, like yeah. pimp. Damn. You know, we all use like pimp. Nah. I used to be like pimp. I mean, pimp you, had, Frank. you had King Bob like on recess. I was a nerd, yeah. so I call myself like Shadow Knight. And um, shit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I feel like. I Shadow feel like, Knight? <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> Like three X's in front of it, like a big X, small X. Shadow you know? Nine. Oh, so you were XXX before X. Bro, no bullshit. Show? Like I used to have like a screen name that had that, <laughs> wow. which is crazy. Yeah, a lot of people did. Well, everybody had like some type of shit. Like we, I even had a friend. We used to no gay shit. We was like calling him uh, Luscious Lou. Oh no. And then like we Man, didn't know what Luscious no really like. Yet. <laughs> you haven't said well, no homo yet. it's 2019. <laughs> <laughs> we still gotta call. No I had homo. a name. It was XX Hoax. Master XX. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was like some shit you you like put on. Uh, remember that uh, poetry chat thing? Which you used to put like big long, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you never been on po- um, uh, that that poetry chat shit. Nope. No, I've just been on my uh, Like we used to do. Like we used to have computer class and then fucking uh, do that. Like get on that chat. Y'all never got on that shit, bro. Nah, your school was lit, man. Yeah, oh, it was lit. I, I like, I like how we dwelling on names right now. You know what I mean? We never even introduced ourselves. We just introduced Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, uh, <laughs> I mean, I Ryan's uh, uh, I guess. Uh, let's go, with Ryan the Dark Knight. That's wait, whoa, this was that a little racist? <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh, I man. felt that one. This uh, is oh, come on. This is your boy J Masters, part of Real Logic. Real Logic, Real Logic, and you got Frank. Yo, what up? Your boy Frank Santana, you already know. Real Logic TV, first ep- first episode. First um, episode and King Ryan, the King Shadow Ryan, Lou. the Dark Shadow Knight. <laughs> Ooh. King Ryan, the Dark Shadow Knight, Black yeah. Hokage. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> hey. Call me Black Hokage. Oh, damn. I can hang with that. That's tight. We, we'll run with that one. We'll run with that one. So with our first episode, man, we just want to try to get things going and start our own podcast even though we this, always have this some, whole shit took us uh nearly three hours to to three hours to set this shit up this is how bad it i'm is. not gonna lie though when i first got everything i was like this is gonna be a piece of cake like ryan's gonna get there we all gonna just get there and just start podcasting and right we, from the get-go and i found out <laughs> I, that shit humbled me and made me realize that being a sound engineer take some time so I, I think I'm an official sound engineer now oh like God. we set this shit up. I mean y'all helped me out but you know no. I, no. Fe- <laughs> I didn't do anything <laughs> Ryan just kept texting and, and, shit. and rapping yeah. even though he's our co-producer so freestyling 
Uh, we got Ryan can freestyling. <laughs> <laughs> nah, turn that shit. That off. shit trash. Get off the sideways. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole point of Real Logic uh, podcast, we were just gonna be talking about current, current events or anime. <laughs> yeah, we just, just anything that you know that comes to mind. Anything that pops off, really, like in society, what's going on, uh, and to let people know from the get go, we're gonna talk some shit and like we're gonna make fun of almost everything. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So if you're gonna get offended, uh, this ain't for you. Yeah, just it's uh, definitely not for you if you're gonna be getting offended. Subscribe, but don't watch. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm cool with that. Subscribe, but if you don't if you don't want to watch this bullshit, then yeah. it's all good with me. It's not hard to subscribe to people, man. It's free. That's it's not like we you, charge you to subscribe. If you want to go us. down that memory lane, bro, it's crazy how you know a lot of people don't don't support. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's easy task to follow, That's like, cool. share, but. It's a, it's a, it seems like it's a hard thing. Yeah, it is. You know, uh, we can start off with that for your own subject, friends, actually. Your own friends. I wanted to get Ryan's opinion on uh, like that ghost supporters. Oh, on how they, uh, how people will look at your stuff and say they watched it, then but they really ain't look at it. So, and then you have the people who will see you in, out in public and be like, "Oh, I love that video," but then <laughs> like Yo, I get share that it. shit all the time. <laughs> Yeah, time. I get that shit all the time, bro. Like, and, hey, yo, that skit was funny. Yeah. And this and that. I, I mean, there's a way to do it. Like, Brax, like, the other day. Yeah. Like, that was just, like, so genuine. The first thing he said was, like, dude, like, that shit was so funny. Yeah. And this and that. There's a way. But then you get those people, like, oh, yeah, I saw that. And this and that. And, like, dude, you never, like. That was the beginning of the video, buddy. <laughs> I mean, you clicked off. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, did you even watch it? You just saw the, the thumbnail and, like, yeah. thought that was a whole, like, it was going to be funny or something. And like, that was just like with Braxton. When he saw the Kingdom Hearts on, he was, yeah. like, talking, he was talking about everything. That shit was hilarious. And <laughs> just how but that's, much but that's the thing, just, though. Like, like, there's a genuine way to do it. And then there's those people that, like, like just, they, I think they watch it. They watch it and everything, but they just don't want to, like, like it or share like what's so hard about that you know yeah. like it, i mean i know it's probably like a bad thing to say like we ex- to expect our friends to like like help us yeah. out but then i thought we were friends man <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i try to support as many as i can i'm pretty mm-hmm. sure i'm gonna get some shit from that like you never support me but like if i see you grinding out there or something like yeah i'm gonna try to support as much as i can you know what i'm saying especially if i see potential you yeah. know what i'm saying and yeah, then, even if i mean. don't you know what i'm saying i'll see you doing something something good like i'm i'm gonna I'm 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 look out for you no matter what you know what i'm saying especially something productive i know a lot of my friends like stuff like jay you anytime y'all have like good pictures good uh drawing designs i feel like flames you know some type of comment to where it's like like you guys like that yeah shit. It's, it's lit. And, you know and i, I and like and like and i want to apologize to anybody if i don't like your pics Sometimes I just I think they're nice and stuff, but I, I, it's an honest thing. Like mm-hmm. I forget, like you just you you see it, you just scroll by it, and maybe that's what everybody else does sometimes too, you know. But the other thing is like like me and Jay were talking the other day. Uh, we we're talking about how uh, how some people s- support you, but they expect you to support them back. They're only supporting you. If you're doing something for if, them, if you don't either doing something for them or also supporting them, yeah. if, but if you don't support them, they're not going to support you at all. Like mm-hmm. to me, that shit is like, dude, if you're not going to support me at all, just don't don't you just you just supported me because I support you. Like I know it should be like a like yeah, I support you, you support me, but like if you are actually just doing it just for that, like it's I don't I don't want your support, bro. Like right. like you can just fuck around. Yeah, it's not genuine at all. Like it's like you supported me just because you want a like or a share from me. Like mm-hmm. like that's kind of like fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I I I share people's stuff and and like people's stuff or follow people that don't support me at all. Like yeah. but that's just because I like I like their pictures or whatever their whatever it is. Or artists what, or drawings. Yeah, anything. whatever it is, whatever yeah. it is, like whatever it is, like I'll I'll still support. Like yeah. I'm not gonna look at it like. Fuck that dude because he don't support me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I just think it's not like it's not it's not right. You You're not stay doing it as a too. Hmm? It's just part of being humble, man. Just, you just can't expect everyone to just support you out the gate. And I know it's hard. It's just I hate when people just uh, say they watched it and they really didn't do it. It's like don't 
<laughs> Why lie to me? Yeah, that's Because you see me? No, you know how you can catch them is whenever like they say they watch something, and you're like, oh, which part you like? <laughs> and then they're like, oh, man, I like that. But it's like the beginning, maybe, and then they just probably scrolled away or just something. Like, just like with Tia. With the oh, music. I like the I, I like, like the that beat. <laughs> I like the beat. <laughs> Bro, she literally just said, like, oh, man, and I'm not going to lie. I've done that shit before because that beat's fire. But it's not saying that your, your bars was wag, you know what I'm saying? But she did say that, though. That shit was so mad funny. I mean the I mean what you can't lie, bro. That's one got some fire as beats, Sorry, but Tio, we had to call. Nah, him. we dropped that name name dropping. But yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, sometimes a beat, like even uh, I think even Ryan when he's freestyling, like it's not that I'm shitting on your bars. Like that beat's <laughs> fire though. Like, but it's like I'm not saying your shit whack. I mean, no, nah, nah, I'm supporting Ryan, his freestyles. I, I remember Ryan doesn't do the freestyles on Instagram no more. What's up with that? He started posting the old ones. Right, yeah, I remember because I, I remember Sun on the. It was an old one. I've been posting some old ones. Um, it's just, I think I, I'm at a point where I kind of need to write. Like I've I've getting I've gotten so good at freestyling, mm-hmm. like it sounds good, but a lot of times I feel like it's kind of repeated notions, and it's like I I kind of would need to be under the influence to sound my best. But it's like I'm trying to get to like a natural under state. the influence, as in like uh, under the influence I, or something. Oh, right, or, or some. A lot of times when I freestyle is off of pure emotion. Yeah. And sometimes mm-hmm. it's like my best freestyles come off when I'm mad or yeah. if I'm upset or depressed. And it's like, yeah. I, I want to get to a point where I'm able to do it naturally. And um, But I, I do I do freestyle, I just save them for myself. Well, it's but, like I'll post it for 30 seconds just so I can have the video and then I delete it. But do you but do you even write at all? Like at all? I don't write. At all at all? Damn. I've wrote one time, one of my friends asked me for a feature and I got so much positive feedback, but we ended up not doing the feature because I had a surgery and I wasn't able to. But I got so much positive feedback from everybody on it. And that was like the first thing I felt like I really just wrote and I should have kept doing it. It, it takes yeah. it takes a lot of dedication because it's like for me, I'm like a, a perfectionist. It's like I kept going back and changing things, but it, it ended up being so good that I, I surprised myself. Yeah, mm. man, I'd I be like that. Like, you know, like you hear a beat and you just like freestyle just to see what, what sounds good. Mm-hmm. And then I hate when I, 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 I write like two, three, four bars like mm-hmm. in my head. And then since I'm driving, I don't want to like text and drive. Right. But then I have to. If not, like by the you time I, 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 like, I stop to like write or something, like that shit might be gone. Like, right. yeah. that's the shit I hate the most. Even just ideas, jokes, or whatever, I have to write it. Like, right. that's when I was like writing. It's a big thing for me now. You yeah. know, you got to keep it on lock. You got to keep that. Dude, I have like 900 something uh, notes now. Like, yeah. just either off of like a bar, an idea, or like mm-hmm. jokes that I'm, I'll be writing. Like, yeah. It's like, I don't know. Writing's pretty dope. I mean, I'd be sitting on the shed for like almost an hour just. <laughs> just I mean, hold on. Yeah, keep I gotta yeah. Uh, so he stepped away. So with me, I've been writing since the start of this whole music thing. So it's so now it's gotten to the point like if we meet up at the studio, I literally write my bars in like. 30, 30, 40 minutes for that track. Right. And then we just go in. That's good. That's yeah. real good. I've gotten that, that you, good to write yeah. it fast. That means you've almost gotten to the point of mastering it. Yeah. And it just comes to me natural now because I've been doing it for like years since this is like my fourth album that I'm working on. Mm-hmm. And it's just, I've been having fun with it, man. Yeah. Nah, you guys are really Being talented. Creative. That's one thing I will say. Yeah, man. We try. We really do try. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so on with the fake followers and everything else so how do you feel about the uh current events of the world right now it's a lot going on um it's a lot going on this whole like r kelly situation and like this is this is just some crazy shit going on right now r kelly that's something that needed to be addressed long time ago long time ago do you feel like he's gonna get some justice Maybe a little bit, but I think I think they're gonna. He's not gonna get the justice he deserves. I mean, especially for all the things he's done throughout the years. Yeah. Yeah. Finally got it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, first mistake of our first podcast, but uh, fuck. You know, and that shit happens. You know, yeah. uh, memory full. <laughs> memory. Full. Even though I fucking cleared that shit before we started, but I guess uh, yeah. 
Uh, we have to have some type of difficulties. <laughs> yeah. After we took uh, three hours to get this running, yeah, our voices, <laughs> our voices were muffled, Definitely. staticky. Yeah, like, Ryan yeah, just texting, guys... and he made our ears bleed. <laughs> oh yeah, we but can't forget that. Uh, yeah, we uh, with that secret box, like, dude. <laughs> I wish we could like ask for something else that we really need, like money. All right, like yeah. you got the mystery box right there when yeah. you open it. <laughs> random items it's like oh man we need something for the earphones like this like yeah <laughs> that shit was funny but uh what was y'all talking about again we're talking about the current events uh r kelly uh, ryan's r- talking about how he Can doesn't th- feel like r yeah, kelly's uh, is the internet on? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Po- just pop up the the article and then uh because he just got sentenced for uh for 10 accounts right i mean not sentenced yet he got a uh, he uh, got it's a- got about like 10 counts i believe no, yeah, it was ten counts. Yeah, they were researching it now. Maybe we should have taught uh, Ryan how to use a laptop before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So where's, where's your? Oh, here we go. So with that, um, yeah, with the whole the whole uh, video dropping, the new video and this whole Lifetime special that they did. It's just kind of just type in uh, what it's like, bringing uh, up awareness to this whole situation. R. Kelly charged. Yeah, I think he's what, charged. What he got charged with ten accounts. Then. Ten counts, but I think the minimum he's getting is seven years. Wait, they already said how much they're they're they saying if if time? he's if he's guilty to the counts, he would get a minimum of seven years. I believe yeah, his bail is set at a million dollars, and apparently God. they're saying that he can't afford it right now. What? Yeah. But didn't he just like sell out a tour? Yeah. I, what? Where did but I did he uh, he got charged for ten accounts, right? Ten accounts of sexual abuse of minors. Attempted. And then that that previous video fucked them up even more because uh, <laughs> they said they had people in the background talking about like, oh yeah, fourteen year old. Yeah, that was some up. sickening uh, shit. Honestly, right there. if they he, were in the video, they should be charged too. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, unless he well, snitches, you can't see their the face. Video. Yeah, that's the thing. And then, like, unless he snitches like about it, yeah, then it's only the people behind it. But only seven years. But I don't think he's gonna like, snitch on himself. I don't think he's gonna snitch on himself. Four, just seven years for like pedophilia though. Yeah, like, it seems kind of like, <laughs> like really, dude. Yeah, man, it's um, it's real wild because it's just, it's just something that he's been doing in plain sight for so long, and now people are just now realizing what he's been doing since the Aaliyah days. Yeah. So yeah. it's just kind of yeah. like it was crazy. What though. took so long? But it was crazy though. I'm not gonna lie. Like back then when I was younger, I didn't. I didn't know that was happening. Like I well, had we knew no about idea. the tape, the first yeah, tape. Yeah, but I had no idea that was happening until like later on that I got like older and I was like, "What? She was fifteen and this dude was yeah. like That's <laughs> already older." Twisted Hollywood for you. Yeah, but I think there was around the time where I think like people didn't really like see it as a bad and thing. Internet wasn't as big as it was. Like yeah. people, that too. Yeah, people are exposing things now and bringing it to light that people just didn't. They just turned a blind eye to. Yeah, because when his first tape came out, it was just VHS, really. It was like, but it was just kind of weird to see all these adults watching this sex tape of this minor getting peed on and everything. And I know, like, they made fun of it on the Boondocks and stuff. That was hilarious. And even with Dave Chappelle. Yeah. But uh, now it's just kind of like you're looking at it like, dang, this this is some really messed up shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sick dude. Well, really. Chappelle's been pushing the, the limits for a good minute. <laughs> and this was before comedy yeah. became like so offensive to Yeah. You gotta Well, you don't have to, but a lot of times you have to watch what you say. Yeah, you Because even with me writing jokes, like I gotta think about like what really what reaction I'm gonna get like yeah. after I just said that joke, you know? And I mean True. sometimes I really don't care if I have I'll get backlash. It's just like an honest opinion, really. That's what really comedy was kind of. Well, you know, you can't give up honest opinions no more, man. You can't, but but then what's about standing for your for what you believe in if you don't be honest? You'll you know be called a bigot. Yep, <laughs> that is true. Yeah. So, but do I, do you think some something like Dave Chappelle, the Chappelle Show, would even be? good this time this era fuck yeah dude dude the reruns are still fire They're now still fire, now to see but that's because stuff. exactly but that's because 
we know the skits, you know, yeah, we, and sh- and shit like that. But, but if it was to drop, like like a new, 2019 new in stuff, 2019, all the material he would have now, he would have ten times more now than he. Would Dude, have he would now. have so much, especially like, yeah, especially because he got so much, fan? especially because of the it, backlash it, it after would, his special. He would definitely. Yeah. But when I think about oh. it, Saturday Night Live is pretty offensive, but they still. Oh, but they but they're they're, they're, they're on they're that PG, white yeah they're on that white side PG thirteen type. They don't. They don't I'm push it too I'm far. I'm not gonna lie. Some of this stuff is it's really funny, and then mm. some of the stuff I'm not gonna lie is kind of corny. Yeah. yeah, it's corny. Like, but but it's like you but have the, to know a little bit of knowledge. The, of, the right, right audience loves it. Yeah, and yeah. that's why they've been on for what twenty years or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's been yeah on for a minute. For they've been on for a good, good <laughs> minute. Eddie Murphy used to be on it. That's how old this stuff. Dude, is. they used to be a lot. Like I think oh, I forgot what comedian it was, but. Yeah, they've they've had a lot of people on there. Yeah, but you think it, it, are you saying that because you think uh, Chappelle would make fun of R. Kelly again? I believe that that could happen. Well, I'm just saying it like you know how sensitive uh, society is now. Would they even be able to handle a Dave Chappelle show now? Dude, no, no he'll get so much backlash. I, I believe he'll get so much backlash, but he wouldn't care. But he got I backlash mean, back then. It's like, but let's think about it. South Park is still running. Dude, they go. They push the lines, and too. They, if you really think about it. They had bomb threats on their company to stop making videos. Oh, and really? They stayed, yeah, really? Yeah, like whenever they made fun of um, uh, Osama Bin Laden, or I, I forgot what leader they made fun of. They got bomb threats. And then no, they went, yeah, they've been had even not just bomb threats. I think they had like death threats, like that. Thr- yeah, yeah. Like people are gonna. Yeah. They wanted to fuck. But they up. still push the limits. They really don't give a shit. Yeah, that, no, they don't. They don't care at all. But yeah. that's that's wow. that's kind of what I'm saying. It, I, it's I guess it's easier for you to watch a cartoon and understand the insensitive. Uh, parts in it but then if a real person says that you're going to scorn them and judge them for the rest of your life yeah and that part is the part that doesn't make sense just like the kevin hart thing when he when it came down to it and they want him to apologize for his old remarks on from twitter 10 from, years ago from 2009 it's like oh the at, whole lgbtq at, thing? at this point you're you're picking and choosing and it and but that's 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 the thing about these days like there's people that actually sit back and look through people's shit just to like just to like, mm-hmm. like yeah. get some dirt on them, and yeah. and and like what that that was like so many years ago. Like, like how why does that matter now? You know what yeah, I'm and and it's crazy because they've you know Kevin Hart made points where he was just like, all right, well this person should be taken off for what they said back then. This person should be, you know. But it's like, I for a minority, it seems like you're gonna be targeted a lot faster. Like your old stuff will be. Not well, not nah, just not just that, but it's there's a lot crazy. of people that I mean, there's a lot of well, there's a lot of like uh, government officials and all that shit that do. But uh, if you say yeah, majority, maybe it is. Uh, I'm like, still disappointed. On oh, him, be- not not because of what he said. It's on just, Kevin Hart, yeah, he still apologized. I don't, I don't feel like. Oh, you disappointed because he apologized? Yeah, I, he had already apologized yeah, about it. If you already addressed it before, why do you have to say? Sorry again. And the thing was, it was a it, he was he's a comedian. He's a, he was joking. It was like nothing, like like he was actually like that's how he felt. You know, what I'm th- I, I just think he was just he was joking around back. Exactly. Then. He, and when was that? Like two thousand nine, right? Two thousand nine, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. On Twitter. dude, that was like ten almost ten years ago. Yeah. I, but what kills me with the LBGQT. Uh, LGBTQ. Community. Sorry. Yeah. Plus. Yeah, that's right. Dude. You got to add the plus. Too. Oh, and there's a plus now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck. What kills, what kills <laughs> me is about, about that is it seems like whenever they mention that they're, um, they're offended or there's some, they, don't, they feel like this is wrong, it seems like people make more moves to push for that person who said the offensive thing to get in trouble. But if you turn around and you go towards a lot of the injustice killing not, and, and things done to minorities... Nobody mm-hmm. gives a shit like that. Nobody pushes for them, those people to get in trouble. It's like people aren't pushing. It. And it's like, not to to weigh the two on a balance beam. It's just, I want y'all to really think about that. It And now they're talking about teaching um, uh, oh, yeah. LBGQT uh, LGBTQ+. Plus. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but now you're going to get some T- shit. Teaching. Dude, I've always said, though, teaching like, like if we could get like, like just uh, like a regular like Twitter update from the LGBTQ Q community mm. plus community like hey like don't say this 
yeah. like don't say this and we just added that you know <laughs> just like to keep us updated you know because i mean i don't want to you know we know a couple of gay people but i don't want to offend nobody exactly. either well, I mean, but but the thing is that like if you say something and it's offensive like i, I didn't know that was really well i don't even think honestly i don't think gay people are the ones that are getting offended i think it's the people who support them who are going out of their way to hurt these people like what, what do you mean like to to like their support groups do you i feel like they're Dude, the ones who are being overly I, sensitive because I when feel, i talked to gay people they was like it didn't it didn't bother them yeah he said no, they, that, that was 10 years ago and i think there's a group for everything there's yeah. a group for for every little thing just to to offend them yeah. like like uh i forgot i don't know if i told you the other day uh my friend said something about a tax there was a tax on on single people with no kids so he made a post like on Facebook, like uh, we shouldn't be taxed. The people with a bunch of kids should be taxed. It was literally just a, it, it was a joke, you know. Right. And you had he had so he got good backlash. People talking about like I didn't I didn't ask to be a mother at fifteen or something like that. <laughs> right. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Like I feel bad. Right. Like maybe she got raped, but no, the whole thing was like she just had on protective, you know. Right. But like she took that so offensive. Like I'm like, dude, like calm down. It's it's, right. it's it's literally just a joke. It's not like he's literally gonna go to the government right. and propose this. Like, yo, you know, like it's just it's just a stupid it's a stupid thing to get offended. It is, and there's just way. people and people like that make the groups to right. go like, hey, let's all go get offended of yeah. this. You know? Yeah. This, go ahead. My I bad. watched the uh, Joe Joe Rogan podcast and he talked about that's my favorite. The, dude. He, he talked about the. The ro- uh, gender roles and how people who are switching genders and going into the UFC and it's like a man literally fighting Ooh. a woman. Oh and yeah, and it's and he like he said it's kind of sickening. No, but he got he got so much backlash for yeah. saying yeah. that. But no, so, no, he, not just him. That, that fighter knocked her eye socket out. Yeah, no, there's just not, not just that one. There was already another uh, another person going through the transition, trying to either fight. Uh, in the girl division and they he did no no there's another one just recently I'm not sure just recently uh, she was trying to go and she was still transitioning Mm. and she was trying to fight and they told her no so then she got her people or I guess uh, like the LGBT like Mm -hmm. transgender people Uh, struggling there with that I don't know because I don't. I'm not sure. So the transgender community (laughs) and like the you know the gay community and all that shit they actually. I guess got the commission whoever like didn't allow her to fight mm. and just like started shitting on them and it's like well I, I really don't think it's uh like a uh, uh, like e- to be equal mm-hmm. a guy and a girl a guy most of the time will be stronger right you know what I'm saying she could transition to a woman but the thing is that she's still gonna have that manpower right and you that, know what I'm saying that, that's that what testosterone said. doesn't disappear he said it, it don't matter how long ago that transition happened if as long as that person has spent over 10 plus years at being or 15 plus years being a male the testosterone the the size of your, the fist mm-hmm. your body proportion everything like that has already affected your body so no matter what even even it, after this the sex change it's you're still going to be physically and more dominant than yeah the yeah it, and it makes sense like that that kid too that was on that wrestling he was just pinning. I think it was in high Texas. school or college. Yeah. Oh, he was still, yeah, 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 he was the women. He or she was still pinning all, like all the. I think I think she won right. two years straight. She won yeah, two women. Years yeah, and, and it like, was a transgender track runner who was running faster than all the girls. Look, I'm gonna be honest. If Brock Lesnar was to wake up one day and just be like, "I want a sex change," and then wanted to fight in the women's UFC, like dude, that, that's, a, that's actually a good a good example. But dude, that's gonna he's he would like kill. Yeah, literally. Yeah. But then again, you don't have many heavyweight uh, women division or super heavyweight, which is true. Or whatever yeah. weight class. But is. if he decides, but if he was he to still, decide, he'll still let him. Yeah, if there was a division. Yeah. Then yeah, that's but, true. But it's just like uh, it, it's like why is it so many support groups for this? But like when we like Ryan said earlier with the whole injustice thing, when something happens to like uh, a black man or a Hispanic man with the police, 
It doesn't get pressed. Unarm, it doesn't get pressed as hard. But when it did, it, it was they'll, a, the, they'll make up justifications for it. For That's what right. pisses me off about well, it. Well, I think that the thing was was with the like the 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 black movement, you know, like Black Lives Movement. B- yeah. It was a good movement, but I think what messed them up was a rioting. The not only no, I don't think it was the I think the media destroyed them. Yeah. Well, that too. They they would show like they all, made a all mockery that, of yeah. it. They made a joke out of yeah. it, pretty much. So, but then you can't say there were some people like really out of line, and maybe yeah. they, maybe they yeah. did had enough like a good reason to. But then again, like because because then it goes to the point where it's like uh, you can't really have a peaceful a peaceful uh, what's it called a peaceful protest protest yeah. you know and then not get heard. So you doing like some outrageous shit yeah. is gonna cause attention. You know, right? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's. it's I don't know, one. man. It just it's seems like <laughs> it just <laughs> seems like to me they're just quick to help. You know, the gay community over the black community, just minorities in general. Yeah, but that's yeah. the thing. Then if it's, but then it it might just be like the media people pushing that instead of pushing or the guy they just got shot. You know, I mean, it, I mean, it's like almost like we can say it's the media, but then it's like we see so many cases where somebody that's uh, not a minority gets off for the, but for the same crimes a black person would do, that would get five to ten plus years. So you know, they just had an officer who uh, raped somebody, and he's not getting any any time at all. Really, any jail time? Yeah. Uh, and what was it? A cop just raped somebody. And he's not getting. Oh yeah, I saw, I saw that. I saw that. No, I think he did. Was it? Didn't he? No. Mm. Uh, yeah, I did hear that was the most recent one. Right. Oh, he uh, just got lead. Uh, like that. A leave. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, they said, I think so. And, and he's not gonna have to register as a sex offender. Or something yeah, like that. yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right about that one. You're right so, about that one. It. It's, it's just like, crazy, yeah. Yeah, I. I but see then again, no, one. no other. There, there. I don't, I don't think there hasn't been a cop that. Uh, that has uh, been prosecuted for any 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 sh- shooting. But, of, uh, right, but even even if they're not cops, you know, it's like if if some, a lot of them that are, don't have the same skin color, it's mm. it seems yeah, like and it, the, and it the took system forever, works like, in their favor. What was it like last year when that Hispanic dude got choked out by yeah. that white? He barely got prosecuted last year or two years ago too. Well, they barely yeah. wanted to prosecute the uh, the lady cop who ran up in the dude's apartment. And shot no, him. She, they didn't though. They didn't do nothing to her. I don't her. think they I th- did. I thought she got charged. Did she, she got charged? Did she, she got charged. Really? Yeah. But oh, they okay. it took them a while. Yeah, yeah. And people were justifying that. Right. Said he should have, uh, uh, you know, did what she said, and it was like, but you can't just run up in someone's house. No, that was not. his house. Yeah. yeah. Like what? And tell me to like what do you to get on the floor? Like what the hell? It's my house. <laughs> That's like, why it's like it's literally people out there that justify these things. It's like you you at home and like like somebody robbing your spot, like like what the fuck, dude? <laughs> this is how are you not gonna ju- justify that? It was his house. <laughs> it was your fault, right? Like this is stupid. And I, I guess my confliction with the with the way the uh, USA thinks as far as like gay rights and uh, social equals. Equality, it, yeah. it's you know, like, it's like I, I I want everybody to feel comfortable. I mm-hmm. want everybody. I don't want to offend I think anybody. That's, yeah. I don't want to like you mentioned earlier. Like it's like you don't want to offend anybody. You don't want to make anybody upset. I feel like everybody has a freedom to do what they want. God gave us that ability, mm-hmm. and I believe you should be able to choose what you want. I don't want to judge you for it. Yeah. Now it's it's becoming a lot harder because it's like they're forcing it down my throat for us to support y'all and and, and consider everybody equal mm-hmm. but then it's like I, like i mentioned before it's like i see a lot of people of my skin color people that look like me that are in this system that doesn't get nearly as much support as they seem to get especially through the media yes. but then but then again there's a point where like you think you're supporting somehow but then somebody say you're supporting it the wrong way and it's like so what is the right way? You know, I, there's really no right way to. I, I feel like somebody's right way is the wrong way. Even I, if you try like like anything, like somebody's gonna say like you're not supporting me. I right? mean, you're right, but that's that's what's wrong with the world nowadays. You know, it, it every, is. Everybody it is. can use something as a crutch, and everybody can use something against you. Yeah, it's like even uh, I I share videos or I share articles that deal with a lot of um, you know things like hate crimes or things like that especially done to minorities and I've gotten backlash from it from a couple of Trump supporters and they're they're asking questions like and I tell them but that's, 
They ask me why do I share it? I tell them I'm bringing awareness. But that's the same as politics. Like everything's, a, I believe everything's a politic because it's either you're a righty or you're a lefty. You know what I'm saying? And then like if you don't, if you don't support their beliefs, then you're 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 supporting the other person's beliefs. You it, know what I'm saying? And it's, it's like I'm really not. I just I'm just trying to understand here. It's uh, it's kind of like Star Wars. You know what I'm saying? You have the Jedi's and you have the dark side, and it's like. You know, when you're born, the day you're born, you're labeled and you're marked. Like, you choose from religion, you choose from, like, your skin color decides on where you're going to, like, your statistics, mm-hmm. um, it decides, like, where you're going to live. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you have a higher chance of being in poverty if you come out of different skin color yeah. than you would somebody that's not. Like, you have a higher chance of having more uh, uh, things to accommodate you in this life than somebody else who doesn't, um, who doesn't have that same skin color as you. So, I guess... You know, from the day we're born, we're kind of put into all of these categories and general. Oh, yeah, we're set. And I I, I think people got to wake up and realize it's like I I said this in my post. It's like I don't care what skin color you are. You Mm -hmm. should stand for what is right. You shouldn't stand for something just because you support it all the way through. You should stand for what is right. Right. And that's what's wrong with people nowadays. They can see something completely wrong, but they'll still support it. I can't do that. But but then you're right. If somebody's wrong. Like you thinking you're doing right, it's somebody else's wrong. I'm gonna be honest, and talking about the president, uh, I, that's something I don't want to talk about. But it's, 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 a, it's a yeah, right. it's a difficult. It's, it's, it's a, because yeah. talking about and plus, and and plus my man Frank is scared of wall, so no, you can't, <laughs> oh, nah, you can't go man. into that, man. Nah, I I just see politics as like the the left has got booty, and then the right got some nice tits, and it's like <laughs> I like ass, but I like tits too. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> like in like you know like her tits might not be that big, but her ass is not that big either. Right. So it's like I'm stuck in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what to choose. Like well, when you're in the middle, you motorboat. And yeah, and, and you just, I mean you <laughs> just, just get a regular works. size chick, and then you know. Yeah. But that's why I'm in the middle. I'm, I I don't I don't agree with everything, and I don't I'm not I don't think everything's wrong from both sides. You know. Right. But I but then again like. You think it's crazy though. Politics is crazy because you could hear one story and then you believe one thing and then you hear something else and you're like, fuck, like, I thought this was a good thing. And then you hear on the other side that it wasn't, you know? Yeah. Like, we, we could go into like a big hole of everything that sounds right, but it's wrong or it's wrong and yeah, sounds right. It, but just, society, that's what society is, dude. Like, that is exactly what it is. And I, it's just. Arguing with people about anything these days, it's, it's so ex- exhausting because. You're not gonna win that argument. One thing you never you, will. You're not gonna win an argument talking about I Trump either. I don't know about y'all, but I win plenty of arguments. I know how to pit people. I, <laughs> oh, I, here, I, we this guy. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I know how to. Pit, here we go. I know how to pit people. Now the podcast gets gets good. No, I know how to hit people with logic. Like I don't, I don't explode on people. I don't cuss people out. I know how to mm. talk to people in a way to where I can hit you with logic and I'll make you really think about yeah. what you're gonna say next because a lot of people. People try to they'll use like half articles and then try to be like oh what about this mm-hmm. like this kid tried to use the flint michigan thing he was like oh the people of flint approved that they they changed the water system and that's yeah. why the water is contaminated so i read through the article he sent me and i was like it says here that the people are not aware that the water was contaminated what people do you know would sign off on something that is going to contaminate and poison their oh, bodies. Yeah, you know, nah, yeah, but right. then how many people read actually too? Right. I mean, I'm not saying that they they didn't, but he half he, read it. He half, yeah. he half he read, half read it, it, and I was but like, but then but that's that's another problem too. There's so many like like story articles, and they give you the headline, right? You know, and and that's what a lot of people go by. A lot of people just read a headline and then. Oh, I, I know what this whole article is about before right. even reading. Because there's some articles that have like a crazy, outrageous headline. But it like it, it like once you read the article, you're like, oh, it's nothing really to do with the headline. It's just right. to grab your attention, even right. though some articles really are just like bogus. And then right. like that's what drives me into like searching even more. And like people might laugh, but YouTube got some good shit, too. Yeah. You know, like... Yeah, it does. The, you have people that actually push in their research even more. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, you listen to that. And then I also like to go back and read the full article because, I mean, you still have some good jur- journalist people, like, really trying to find, like, the true... 
right. the truth and and stuff. So you just can't go with media, the news. You like you got to do and your the, own your own research. And that's what I learned too. And that's something I would say, <laughs> like to mention the Jesse Smollett uh, case. Um, with that whole situation, it, it was people who were jumping on his ba- uh, like jumping on his side. Just the fact that he was African American and he said this happened. Dude, that, and, let's talk about that because. <laughs> <laughs> and I got into arguing my friend. I was like, you know, we should definitely wait till more details come out. We should wait Look, to hear more that comes out. I'm not judgmental, but as soon as that story came out, I was like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta search and make right. sure this is what happened. Yeah, it, the it, news, it the bleach, and the yeah. news, the bleach, and like, two, oh, they had to be Trump a, supporters yeah, too. I guess two you know? a.m. MAGA hats, Subway. The Chicago. thing, bro. The thing was that he Did went into his no hotel. Sense. He went into his hotel uh, with the news in his neck still mm. and a Subway sandwich. So it's like, dude, did you win a Subway with the news in your? <laughs> like, dude, like really, like you couldn't play it off or something, mm. you know? And then the part where he said is that he told the cops to like turn off their uh turn off their body cams mm-hmm. and shit like that and i'm like dude are you serious and then the other one was the phone he want he didn't want to hang hand out hand out his phone mm-hmm. and i get that a lot of people have you know you want your privacy and you don't want your pri- privacy to be out there but then if it's a big situation like that right. i'm handing over the phone i want right. you to catch these dudes you know what i'm saying and it, all that was just too fishy it was just too fishy. Yeah. And then you still had a full sandwich, Subway sandwich. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Even though. Sandwich, yeah. And it was at what? At 2 a.m.? Like, yeah. bro, Subway at that time gives you the runs. Trust me. I got that all the time in Chicago. <laughs> like, they had a 24-hour. <laughs> bro, they, I swear to God, they had a 24-hour Subway. Me and my boy k Like, Like, uh, we went there every day, every night. Well, like, for the four nights, I guess. At 3, 4 in the morning. And got a sandwich, came back. Dude, I was shitting my brains in the morning. Like, I'm not eating Subway at that time anymore. <laughs> I actually stopped eating Subway for a bit. You know, <laughs> Jimmy John's. I go to Jimmy John's. But, dude. We like, need that sponsor, Jimmy John's. Yeah. I wonder if just, uh, was it Justice? Jesse? Je- Jesse's. Jesse's. It's because it was J-U. Like, just call yourself Jesse. God yeah. damn. Just put the E on there, B. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But, look, I wonder if he still shitted his brains out the next morning. You know? What? Why is that even? <laughs> I don't know, man. But uh, it's just, it's just like, and then, and then they say that he, they, uh, they rehearsed it. Like really, dude? <laughs> Y'all rehearsed that shit, and then and then he got two other Nigerian guys. Come on, you could at least hire some white people I to really make it believable. If you really wanted to make make it believable, bro, you should have got some white guys. He just shouldn't have did it at all. Yeah, true, but he did. So, but like, what was it for? What was his purpose? Because he he, he was getting written off supposedly. No, nah, so uh, he came out and admitted he wanted he, to be the gay Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> he said that he wasn't getting enough money. Yeah. And he that he wanted more, and he felt like something like that would help his career. <laughs> well, I think oh, he was trying it. to he was trying to get famous quick, right? Like get more. He, famous he was quick. yeah, he was already famous, and he no, was yeah. making like sixty thousand per. I, I think no, way he, more than making, that. he wanted uh, that Kaepernick. He was making Kaepernick. about. Uh, I think they said a million a week, and I couldn't. No, what? no, it wasn't that much. No, it was like fifty uh, k per episode. He was he wanted and, uh, he wanted that Kaepernick. Support. Yeah, I want you to think about that. They already on like plus season three. I don't know what season they're on, but fifty mm. k per episode. You're mm. already over a million dollars. Fifty k per to. episode, bro. Because I think Taraji do that in a year. Like I mean, a hundred that's... and something thousand Jesus. episode. I just want. And he once. wanted what right. he wanted. What put they me were on a on an episode. I'm good. But that that just goes to show greed. Like yeah. if if, that, if any sin you got hit with, that's greed because it's like. There's people who would die for just fifty k a year. Yeah, you're making it. A, you're making it. A we got day. hyped over a, the thing that I saw uh, the other day. You can work at NASA as a janitor making fifty k. Dude, we figured that shit out. I mean, these dudes. And told we were like, today, man, bro. I'll do that. I'll do that. And that's all for fifty k. And you're getting that for one episode. <laughs> bro, those floors gonna be extra shiny. I promise you. <laughs> and with full benefits. 401k and it's really no yeah. physical labor like it's not too hard on the bro body. I watch the it's shit out those toilets job. scrub bro, the shit out those toilets for 50k for real it's a government job and you're getting <laughs> paid like you said it's like people will kill for 50k a year yeah and you're getting it per episode you're getting per episode and how many episodes a season it's a lot <laughs> that I've never watched it to be honest I never watched it either but I know it's it's pretty 
pretty popping, but yeah. I, I'm not gonna jeopardize that. But the, but he was getting written out, so maybe that's why he was trying to also probably hype up like this just something. Tarnish I feel, his career. I feel, but th- okay, so let's think about this. Like if it if it all like if it all was true, let's say that mm-hmm. you don't think it would have benefited him and the and Empire people. Like as in like oh let's 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 keep him on because he's hot he's hot he's, he's, he's getting all he's this his this I, uh, I, I'll say this that. press he's getting all this press let's keep him on and our ratings are gonna keep Look, going up I say it would have I mean I think people even companies now are realizing how much black support or just minority support matters as far as these things go like look at what Black Panther did last year <sighs> Black Panther Damn. broke all these records. And all it took was the awareness and all, and everybody just come together and just be like, we're all going to see that movie. So yeah. everybody, everybody dressing up. And like everybody, like when they when that, first, <laughs> that story first came out, everybody jumped on their side. So yeah, that that definitely would have helped. Like even Taraji came out, I was like, all right, we should uh, everybody go buy his music uh, right after the attack happened. She was like, let's support him by buying his music and, and making his name go up. He was going to get money for sure. And, and he, pro- and he probably. Because of the support. Yeah, and he, he got a lot of, it got national attention. Even Trump tweeted about it when they, somebody asked Trump when it, about it when it first happened, and he even tweeted about it. And he actually answered a question in an interview talking about it. Really? Like, I haven't seen this when shit. He, when he first got attacked, and then after they found out he was lying, Trump was like, you hurt 10 million plus people, and what about But Maga? what did Trump say? That's what Trump said. Trump said, you hurt 10 million plus people, and you said this about MAGA, and I can't. Oh, he said record. after the after he, he, he said it before. He had something to say about it before. And what did he say before? Say. Before somebody asked him, he's like, How, "Did you hear about the Jesse Smollett thing?" And he was just like, "I heard about it." Then he continued to talk about we need to build a wall. Oh, man. Like he just uh, changed. Don't, it. don't <laughs> mention the wall, man. Yeah, he just he just instantly changed the subject. You know, Trump is an a hole. He yeah. he truly didn't care about him being. Dang, uh, he, he just care about the wall. Are you nervous? A little bit. There's too many walls in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> we need to open the windows or something. Shit. Open the windows. Oh, uh, unlock the door. But but yeah, um, yeah, it's a it's a tough it's a tough thing, man. And uh, very tough. And uh, I think us as as young, we still kind of young, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We should that we talk about it. We got people that knows us. We got f- good friends, couple of good friends and stuff. And mm-hmm. you know, I'm pretty sure they probably had something to say too. You know, and and um I I, 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 well, honestly, there's a lot of people that honestly, have a lot we of say, posting man, memes just like everyone else <laughs> that's another thing we, we I, should talk about too memes I, right I was right. mad I was just more mad at the people who just instantly jumped on the side just cause it's color and I was like they, you know we gotta but that's we, what we society gotta, is bro well it wasn't we gotta, just his color it was cause he was gay a gay male too gay black male and got assaulted by Trump supporters right yeah, and, and that's it's like, all they needed that's, that's all they needed that's all they needed and they just jumped right on it and I was just like you know we should wait if anything should have taught y'all y'all, y'all heard about the woman in, in Texas whose who's four year old got shot and everybody it was a, people, a lot of people there were saying it was it was a white dude a white, white supremacist and the media blew it up they were like oh a white supremacist apparently, uh, apparently on the alert uh, after shooting a four year old girl everybody's on the alert Come to find out, it was two African American teens, oh, and shit. they were uh, trying trying to get. It was that one that they found like the pick. It was like a pickup truck. A, a pickup picture. truck. Oh, yeah. damn. was it an really? accidental but, uh, accidental shooting, or it was it was, just, it was, it was a drive by? Really? Yeah, it was like it was a, a drive by, but it was. Yeah. Uh, so they weren't aiming at him. He just no, got but caught in still, a crossfire. Yeah, I think Not so. The, the girl did. It was a four year old guy. Four year old girl. Yeah, got killed. It was a little black girl, right? Right. Yeah. But it's like the the witnesses, the mom of the four year old, and oh yeah, you know what? That that's. I mean, not that the what happened was funny. What was funny was that the sketch was a white guy, right? And And then when they caught the actual guys, it was like yeah, (laughs) it looked nothing like like them. And and you were kind of just like you know we kind of got to stop jumping on sides so quick and it's not to say we shouldn't defend our own kind Mm -hmm. it's just more of a place where that hatred like that energy can be turned into so much hatred towards the other side Mm -hmm. instantly just from hearing that story you're just thinking like wow but that's what that's what i'm saying about people just read headlines people read headlines and they think they know the whole article and then the article switches up and it's not even it's not even that it's like something like the whole article will tell you the facts you know but just right. is that the headline mm-hmm. is to get your attention and people just read the headlines and they Click think bait. they 
Yeah, and they think they they got the head just by reading the headline. They have the whole story, and mm-hmm. it's, the, and it's not like that. The internet is is programmed to use against you. It's it's they use they use it in a sense to where it makes your mind it dumbs your mind down and it makes you think uh, to all the way left instead of thinking in the middle. So that's that's what they do with the internet. Yeah, it's a yeah. tough one, man. It's a tough I, one. I've, I've actually shared, accidentally shared articles. Not accidentally, I've shared articles. heavy breathing. <laughs> yeah, because it's well, just... It's, it's tough, tough, man. Yeah, yeah it's, it's I've sucks. Shared, I've shared and articles. It's like, and it's like, you know, you could try to make a difference, but then you keep trying and trying and trying, and then, like, you really don't see no difference. So it really just makes you, like, like fuck. Like, yeah. I'm doing this for no basic. I mean, that's how... A lot of things make you. I, I wouldn't say it's, it's never for any reason. I believe if you're fighting for what is right, but like you said, but like somebody else could think that they're right. But yeah. I, I realize this: if you're gonna be, if you're gonna try to make change in the world, you have to try to change yourself and try to change those around you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like most of the everybody have like this hatred. It's like they're trying to program this race war and this civil war between us, and it's like. The reality is I don't have that many white friends for me to be like, I hate white people. Or, mm-hmm. you know, like I may read an article, but I'm never going to hate somebody. I may read a storyline saying it's about this hate crime. I'm never going to hate or generalize a whole population based off of that. But then not just that, but like uh, I know a couple of people that are Trump supporters and they're not racist or, right. or assholes. They just that's just their that's the other thing, bro. Like you can't have a belief on something. Wow. And it and it be clear, bro. Cops are coming, bro. Oh shit! I hope they're not building the wall. <laughs> nah, but like, but for real, it's like we have we have friends that are Trump supporters, and it's like I don't care, dude. Like, right. and but they're not racist or assholes or like bigots or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that's just what they believe on. Like they're they they think that Trump, what Trump's doing is it's it's the right thing, you know? And and like I'm not gonna hold them against that you know what i'm saying right. like shouldn't yeah it's their opinion but like, this is what everything is everything's based on opinions everybody has an opinion about everything yeah. and your opinion might not be right to the other person but it's like why not just let me express it and let me believe on what i want you know what i'm saying yeah it's not you you know what i'm saying it, it, how, am how am i hurting you how am i hurting you you know what i'm saying but, i i think Cause I look at it from this point of view too. Tell it's, me, Ryan. Tell me. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> look, it's nah, just like you know, if you look at some of the things Trump has done, and yeah. like I said, I didn't want to talk about the president. It's like sometimes you have to ask those people, how can you continue to still support this guy? It's like if if you look at some of the pictures of the, of the kids being locked up and they have foil that they're using to then, keep them. Then you go into conspiracy. I'm sorry then, to cut you off, but you go into cons- conspiracies and see that w- like one of the one of the pictures where like the little kids on the cage was actually uh, cropped it to make it look like he was like in a big cage, mm-hmm. and then they zoom out and like it's just one small fence. Like it's not it's not right, a cage it's, it's a just cage. a fence but wow. they cropped it and they zoomed in and the little kids like on the on the damn fence like crying out type uh, of thing yeah. and it makes it look so worse and then they show you the actual picture and it's like it's not as bad it's as not it's not it's not yeah he's not in a cage there's other little kids running behind but him but there there are a lot of missing kids that have come up missing ever since uh getting taken into uh that, ice, that, ice custody and and that those and stories are true. That too, and then a lot, a lot of a lot of the if you if you read upon it, there's a uh, there's also the reason why they take so much precaution is it because uh the kid, the sex trafficking and like kid shit that shit's so big, bro, mm-hmm. that they have to go through these through these uh procedures to make sure that that kid and that mom actually correspond to each other. I know it sounds stupid, stupid and retarded, but. I mean the the sex trafficking thing. It's it, it's, it's a it's huge. a real big right. deal, bro. And that's what the whole thing. I don't I I don't think they should be caught like uh, be staged on a fucking cage either. Like they could do it. Like remember when uh fucking uh was it Rita? No, who was it? The, the hurricane that hit? Hurricane Rita was no hurricane no no Harvey Harvey Harvey. Yeah. When when people had to go to the, the convention center and shit and uh, they just had everybody spread out. Mm-hmm. I mean I don't see why right. you can't do that. But then again I don't know what procedures. When I, you could read, but a lot of people don't read, and they'll probably tell you the procedures that they're taking and why they have one on the cage, which seems fucked up. I know I I, I I'm right. against that too, but I mean we don't really know what what why they have they have that 
procedure, you know? I feel you. I feel that. I'm just it's just it's just a it's just uh we can't go and like just jump on like oh like like he's he's like caging them in like right animals so that that's kind of why I don't necessarily jump jump on it but I I do ask because some of the stuff that like I mentioned the president says it it just makes you just think instantly like like you're really saying that stuff yeah. and it's like he doesn't address what's going on the the American problems mm-hmm. that. Are people who are, who are citizens here that have been killing folks in schools or so forth in these mass shootings and, and stuff going on? He doesn't address those situations. It seems like all everything every time something bad happens, it's like we must build this wall. We must keep these uh, illegals out of here. We, you know, it's 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 always that. And sometimes it's like you kind of just wish, like not to take sides though, but you know, there's been a ton of other presidents even obama say that you know what i'm saying it uh, immigration has always been a god damn why did we go into politics but immigration yeah, immigration immig- immigration has always been a big a big uh a big problem right. you know what i'm saying and and i understand every every president has has brought up even uh clinton has and a lot of people like clinton and stuff like that mm-hmm. even he brought up immigration but Nobody ever really talks about that, but like want to shit a lot on on, on Trump. Trump. Yeah, because he, I, it's, I guess people like say like how he says it how it is, and he doesn't sugarcoat anything. But if just listening to him, people can can't tell, handle the truth sometimes. He got Trump got the track record. Yeah, has, no, he, no, I understand. He, he yeah, has I understand. A track, track yeah. record even before he became president. As he, far as dude, I'm, his, I'm probably gonna get shit for this too. Like whatever I'm saying, but I really don't give a shit, and I've gotten shit. Like, uh, like, like out here with well, friends just say the when shit. they talk. Oh, I am niggas. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Damn, man. I'm offended. Yeah. No, but yeah. <laughs> triggered, triggered. <laughs> no, but oh, you may forget what I was saying. But the thing is, is like, oh, so you sound like a troll bro. I'm like, no, I really don't support the guy. But right. like. Like you just gotta see Let's what see other Trumps. Other, I mean, what other Trumps? What other, other <laughs> president? <laughs> what other tr- presidents Stop have done? Trump a lot off. of presidents have want to build a wall. The thing is, like, I don't see why. I, I, I guess the slogan "build the wall" is what offends people. Well, Obama didn't say he wanted to build a wall. He just said he wanted to up no the more security. more security. No, I know, but everybody, every president has been wanting to get more security in the in the border. There's already a wall there. What's he just building a bigger wall it's over the gonna, other wall? It's not gonna do anything different, to be honest. Exactly, bro. There's still drugs coming in from somewhere. I mean, people have gotta realize the opio- op- opioid, God. opioid, 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 oh, opioid. Okay. Prices is is so big right now. Yeah, that's what we went to Afghani, if Iraq for. Yeah. It's, yeah, I got conspiracies, bro. So no, yeah, yeah I'm a I'm a conspiracy guy with you. Yeah, and but it, it's just um, it's crazy to me because it's like back in the '80s, whenever a lot of minorities were was stuck on those drugs, nobody pushed anything to try to save them. Yeah, but now that it's if you're looking at the amount of well, they did say the government brought crack into the hood. Exactly, but now that is they have legal crack through medication and and. And, oh and yeah, there's a lot of medications that have just a little bit of and cocaine. people are people are addicted to it. Yep. But now that it's done, they're like their precious, their own people are being affected by it. Now it's national emergency. Now it's people need to take this seriously. Now they're trying to build mental ho- hospitals to help more people who mm-hmm. are stuck and, and and addicted. But like I mentioned in the 1980s and in 70s, nobody cared. Nobody sat there and was like, we need to do something to help these people who are stuck on these yeah. drugs. But now, like I mentioned, you go to areas like South Carolina, North Carolina, it's a, they're stuck on that those drugs. Go look at the numbers of people dying from uh, overdosing. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Well, all these rappers, too, that have been yeah. dying from overdose. Man, rest in peace, Mac Miller. Yeah. Uh, uh, rest in peace, little peep. Yeah. But it's, 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 a, it's a drug that, that it's popular and... Everybody wants to do it, you know. Yeah. Those Xanax, but yeah, that's. Uh, but you get you you're, they're getting it legally. Mm-hmm. It's not somebody's going over. Oh yeah, they, over the border and bro, shipping it. To, to tell them. you the truth, I remember uh, like back when I was like in middle school. I think uh, my sister was dating this guy, and she told me like like man, check this out. Like uh, I broke up with him and stuff, but he was like still calling her and like you know telling her stuff, and 
he's like he was telling like I, she showed me pictures and all shit like mm. like people like he was a drug dealer right i guess for a big guy and uh uh he was getting like coke stamped with like the government uh like government stamped and all this shit and since he was trying to get out like he had people like watching him like mm. for he won't say nothing or something yeah. like that right i mean he obviously sent pictures to my sister but I was like, dude, that's when I first too was like, what the fuck? Like, why do they have government stamping? You know what I'm right. saying? It's just, it's just hmm. weird. And it's like, like what Ryan just said is like, that's what they, that's what they pushing. And when they got crack into the hood, right? Yeah. It, it, it's whenever they want their agenda. Now push. it's now it's uh, we got Xanax into these rappers and kids right. want to do it. Look, I don't hmm. like Future as a ra- as a rapper. He's talented. But the reason I don't like him, and I might, I'm probably gonna get some shit for this. He doesn't do, he doesn't do <laughs> those drugs. Shit for a lot of he things. doesn't do Molly. He doesn't do a lot of these drugs that he talks about in his uh-huh. song. And he got a lot of these kids. But up. talking about it makes it makes it hot. But right, but because he's talking about it, it's actually young people yeah. pe- who are influenced by his music. They go out <clears> and try <throat> these things, and that bothers me. Yeah, that, it's not right. Yeah, it's but not how many right other rappers are rapping about it too, though? Exactly. That's, that's why. What, that's, that's, that's what that's, makes it hot these that, days. That's why I cleanse myself of that music. But I, it's whenever you, let's say somebody who you want to get lit, that should be popping, bro. It's like I can't. Yeah. I can't get lit. <laughs> like I, I started can't get lit because I, I used to. I used to jam a lot of Gucci Man and Young Jeezy, and I yeah. used to be. In, I used to have a bad attitude. Like I, jamming them, it's like <laughs> it's like you ever you got it, off, bro. It, it, it used to change my vibration. So it's like I would get change it, you, vibration. You, you get in a car listening, and you're pumped up to some Gucci Man or something. You're gonna be speeding. You're gonna be pissed off. Talking you're gonna shit. be talking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's when I put on some Takashi Six Nine. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh man! We gonna man. get. We gonna definitely. Definitely talk about Takashi on the next episode. Right? Yeah, we'll bring that up. Uh, yeah, y'all want to wrap it up? Um, yeah. Uh, what's uh, what Man, should we do? Uh, actually, Ryan got to get up out of here. Oh, what time is it? Actually, my friend canceled. Oh. oh. Yeah. Damn. Damn. He made us rush for no reason. Now he know, just canceled. Man. What time? What time is it? Eight o'clock. Ooh. I don't even know how long we've been doing this shit for. I don't know. This shit has a timer on there. Does, does it? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It does. At the top. With the numbers, eighteen minutes. It says it says one eight six zero point two. Is that eighteen minutes? One eight six zero. It says one eight six four point three. Bar. Mm. It says bar. That's the bar thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. It doesn't have. A time. We got eighteen <laughs> bars already. No, we have a thousand eight hundred and seventy bars. Ah <laughs> man, mixtape of the year. But I don't yeah. know where it doesn't say the time. No, nah, that's all good. Well, we, I want to know. I mean, we've, we've already been doing been. it. Maybe 30 minutes. We've been doing it maybe 30 minutes. Yeah. Next time we About need to put a timer. Yeah, yeah, next time we need to put a timer. That's but, why I turned this on. Well. I'll turn it on next time. Yeah, well, now we know. Uh, but, yeah. first I mean, podcast. It's, it's our first episode, so of course nothing's going to be like. Yeah, the first, second, third episode yeah. might still be a little rusty, but yeah. we'll get the hang of it. And, uh, and you know, Breakfast Club, they, they almost got shut down until the Birdman thing, so. What, what do you mean? We so need that a, brought a their popularity. Yeah. No, they. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, yeah, say, yeah, they, they mentioned did. it yeah. several times that they almost. Uh, they Whoa. their executives Whoa. was on their case. So when they finally, when that Birdman situation happened, that's when they blew up. No, yeah. even with the with the Ray J one too. No, yeah. no, the Ray J one they blew up when Ray J called in talking about like, uh, man, my boys got five Bentleys outside. Somebody was saying they used broke or something. That and the drop. When he called in, yeah. When, they when he jumped, called in, Charlemagne tried to jump. Charlemagne, Wait, yeah. And then, well, so that's why that's why they would say uh, uh, Ray J is like the Godfather song because because of him calling in and like that interview, whatever. Like when he called when he in, like popular, popped him yeah. back up, yeah. And then other shit started happening, and mm-hmm. then the Birdman one killed it, and then like they yeah, just started just, popping from there. They yeah. got popular from there. Yeah. I'm proud of them though. Yeah, and, and you know. We're just broke. We're trying to be We're rich just here. broke, trying to podcast, so trying to we find. We need that sponsor from Ozarka and Jimmy John's. Uh, maybe Subway, even though I shit in them a little bit. Nah, they not going to support us, man. You never know. They supported <laughs> a pedophile, so. 
<laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know. Hey, man. hey, they Come probably on, didn't know, man. man. They probably didn't know. And you know, Adidas, you know, boy Ryan wearing the hat, so I be wearing it. Yeah, yo, so. Nike throw some 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 fire over I, here. I switched from y'all Nike, so Adidas hooked me up. Oh no. Yo, I love Adidas too. Adidas has some fire shit. No, nah, they've stepped up. They stepped up big yeah. time. Yeah, that's when when Jay went over there. Yeah. Ever since he went, like shit started popping. You know, everyone kind of getting on Nike right now because of the Zion situation. Oh, uh, that damn t- the fucking shoe, shoe exploded. <laughs> <laughs> the, his everybody foot went but, all the way bro, through. Bro, but everybody's like, talking about. Everybody's talking about. It's a two hundred and sixty pound guy. I thought he was like six seven. He's two eighty. Oh, two eighty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 285. shit! A but big dude, I'm pretty. Sh- but then again, he's explosive, bro. So yeah, but, Nike better f- come up with some some. Some Bro, good shit. Apparently, they fired the him. dude who made the, the shit that they. they nah, yeah, nah, they I think it was working. a joke. No, they said it was I a, a, it was a, a five, six year old uh, Chinese kid. Bro, look it up. I swear to God, <laughs> that's what they said. <laughs> also, Brian was supposed to look up. I mean, Brian. Who the <laughs> fuck is Brian? I don't know. Brian, though, the friendly ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's but, uh, a. It was. Man. Yeah, we're gonna. That was freakish. I, yeah, I, I, I kind of fear for that man, though, to be honest, because the way his he plays. He he's relies big, on he's that a style. big dude, bro. And he's if he starts player. getting hurt, the fact it was been, a shoe, bro. The fact he's been doing that since he was young, I, I, I think he's going to transition perfectly. I the, think it's going to be the fun. thing is too yeah. is, is but the, the way the he sh- lands. On the his. thing was that the shoe fucked him up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If if the shoe would have been keeping up. Maybe those uh Lavar Ball fucking shoes, <laughs> like, nah, uh, some Zos, some Zos. <laughs> nah, but it, I think he it, he's so explosive and he, like maybe his heaviness does have something to do with it. Maybe I don't know, but uh, he been moving like he that. Been, dude, Your he, shoes can't handle that, man. I hear people hating on. Like, come, dude, you give him his credit, bro. He's a young kid. Who's hating to, on him? I got people that are like, oh, he ain't all that. He's gonna, yeah, he's I, gonna I flop. He's gonna like, flop, uh, and he's not gonna make it in the NBA. I'm like, he's in college. College right now still he was Balling. doing this he was doing this in fucking high, high school. school it was people saying that about Luka Donick and I was like bro it, they were like oh yeah he's white and dude from the Mavericks yes wow, he, bro, killed him, he is nasty bro him and Przingis he's, oh. he's the him and Przingis bro he is the nastiest rookie I think I've ever witnessed in my he life he plays like a I, and season I'm better he's playing. I, yeah he's playing I, 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 is Nowitzki no training him no I don't I don't know but he's he nasty. should <laughs> but it, he, he was doing it in uh, European he was already league. playing he yeah. was already in the Euro League. he was already killing yeah so like, like but the fact he's come to the NBA and he's hitting game winners yeah but now he's got Przingis with him dude yeah but he, we gotta wait for him to be healthy yeah cause they're saying he might leave the Mavericks this year oh, who Przingis mm-hmm. what no. no no that's what they're saying cause they, he no. still got to get signed uh, they still gotta sign him like they did that big trade but yeah. it's up to Przingis on if he wants to oh, he gonna oh, stay he, he's probably he's probably gonna stay though Dude, they just need one more piece. If Nowitzki still staying? Yeah, if Dirk going to play one more season. If he, he stays, Przingis, and what's his name? Uh, Luka Don. Luka. Yeah. Uh, Dirk say he's going to play one more season. I would if they had prime Dirk. Yeah. If it was prime Dirk, Porzingis, and Luka Donick, that would be the well, you seen that video? combination. You seen, dude? That's like three, three like three accurate shooters. shooters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that video though of that dude like uh, mocking Nowitzki's walk is fucking hilarious. That shit, you need to check it out. I didn't even know Seriously? Dirk's wife was black. Oh, dude! <laughs> I, 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 I swear to God, he got she, so ma- so so mad support over that shit. She sends him a plate of food wrapped in foil, bro. Like, that's how you know you were the black woman. Mm-hmm. But that's she tra- love, she be feeding them too. That's bro, why I man. love Dirk though. Dirk, he, he, he got, got some, yeah, he got some soul, bro. Dirk yeah. got soul. Maybe that's why he's a good basketball player. He's woke. Yeah, yeah it, <laughs> people don't realize that it's like when you pit when you pit behind like your traditional way of thinking that you've been programmed and brainwashed like you can unlock more parts of your mind to become a better version of yourself yeah and it transitions over in sports it transitions over in workplace like when you become when you elevate and become a better person in life and understand people and other people's perspectives it helps you out so much in life right yeah man uh i I like no whiskey more for that i already he i already thought he was a great player but that was pretty pretty dope you know well i mean i'm not gonna lie when when the mavericks won that championship i was i was proud of him when Nash, i was so happy oh no No, that was without Nash. dirt jason terry uh you're right they they were going Uh, against uh, marion marion was there yeah right sean marion uh 
Jason Terry, uh, the, the Jason w- Kidd. Was it? Kid yeah, was Jason it? Oh, Kidd, Kidd was, was on there. Yeah, you're right. And uh, the, what was the name? JJ Barrera. JJ Barrera was killing. And dude, that's when and I used had to Tyson hate Tyson Chandler. Yep. I used to hate him, but I was like, man, he's putting bro, it on. Bro, though. he's like he was like a he's pest. like five nine, right? Like five he's short, five eight. But he was like a pest. Like no, he he's five seven, there. dude. Ooh, I think he's five seven, short. but he was still driving it, dude. Yeah. Him laying up like on the like in the paint, I was like, God damn, dude. yeah. How you ain't getting? He's still started. on the he's still on the Mavericks. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's still killing. He just constantly gets hurt for the I Puerto feel, Ricans. I, think. I feel so bad for him. He always getting hurt. Really? Mm-hmm. Damn, he doesn't seem like he's fat. He be moving fast and shit. So that shit has to wear on your knees too. You know, it just seemed. I mean, the Rockets would be oh, good shit. too if Chris Paul. Well, uh, Stop. Chris Paul wasn't getting hurt so much, but yeah, yeah. We go out. We gonna go ahead and end this episode, and uh, definitely come back for the next. Right. You guys, stay it's tuned. Right Real Logic TV. Does Ryan gotta give some last words? Yo, I appreciate y'all having Second me on the show. Oh, and you know we are gonna have you some more. So yeah, we might have we might switch co producers, but Ryan will be here most of the time. Yeah, you know <laughs> he's gonna have to get better at co producing. <laughs> oh, oh, he did really oh, good. Fucking oh. memory full. Oh man, do oh, uh, you want to want me to switch it or you want to just wrap it up? Nah, let's wrap it up because you know. Yeah. I'm tired of talking to you niggas. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended. Whoa. But right, Good. Uh, um, you know, final words. But, uh, yeah, this first episode, uh, yeah, finally right. got it running. Yeah, so follow um, us at Real Logic. My memory got full, so this might be just a blank thing of uh, Real Logic. <laughs> like of our logo just on there. Yeah. but Until yeah. we get our stuff together. Yeah, and this but, is it, man. Yeah. At Real Logic TV. Yo, follow yeah. us. Subscribe. Uh, what else? Follow us on Real Logic TV. Follow J J yeah. Masters. What is it? Is J J Masters on Seri- SoundCloud. Series yeah. Blue. Series Blue. Uh, yeah. We're gonna put this on SoundCloud too, right? Yeah, definitely. It's gonna go. Uh, on Real SoundCloud. Logic SoundCloud. Yeah. Podcast. And, uh, follow Ryan too. Tell him your handle, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. My handle is Ryan R Y I A N underscore not N O T underscore Ryan R Y A N. What oh. happened to the Dark Knight Shadow thing? No. Not that? Yeah, Black Hokage, uh, Dark Knight Shadow, <laughs> Black call Goku, me, yeah, Goku call, Black. Call me Black yeah. Hokage. I'm pretty sure that name, somebody already has that yeah, name. Yeah, somebody already that, got that, that name. It's though. dope, though. I yeah, like it that. is tight. That would be dope. Yo, y'all follow me at Frank Santana. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Every nigga, Twitter, Facebook, nah, this cut the podcast. Shut the uh, record off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My SoundCloud, <laughs> man. Trying to be a SoundCloud. You rapper. can't rap, nigga. You suck. Hey, get off the sideways. This is Real Logic TV. <laughs>